In this video, I'm going to show you how you can combine two PNG files that already have cut lines uh, into one print and cut project or print plus cut project. Um, but you're going to have to adjust the cut lines. And I'll show you the file that I was sent is this one here. Some of you may have seen it in the group. Uh, I think it was the StarCraft group. I'm not positive, but... Um, okay, so what she has here is uh, two PNG files, okay? And they both have cut lines already, as I stated. And if you look at it in the preview, you can see that the flowers are going to cut out and the dog is going to cut out. And you can't have that because... Um, even though you set, you know, the dog to print, you can see that these flowers are still going to cut underneath there. So you have to get rid of those. So the first thing I did for that was I turned off the print layers and I came to the cut layers and I gave them a stroke color so that I could see uh, the cut lines, okay? And then what I did was I went back to the dog cut layer because I have to get rid of what's underneath here so it doesn't cut. So to do that, I went to effects, shadow layer, and I just entered 0 0.001, okay, and clicked OK. And then this needs to be on top of the flower cut, okay? So then I'm going to choose that shadow layer and the flower cut line. And I'm going to go path, uh, back minus front. So that got rid of those interior cuts, okay? Now, I can select this and I can come to path offset path and inset that back to 0 0.001 if I want to. Okay, all right, so then we have that. Now, what she wants is to be able to weed this white part, this white material out up here. Um, but if I leave this like it is, then it's going to cut into that flower layer, right? So what I need to do is I need to leave this and I need to get rid of these cut lines. But if I don't leave this cut line down here and right here, then, you know, all this white material is going to be attached to the dog. So, how would you do that? Well, <laughs> we're going to use the eraser tool. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little closer, and I'm going to choose my dog cut layer, all right? Then I'm going to choose my eraser, and I'm going to just erase this line here. And, oops, I went a little too far. you got to be careful so you don't get those breaks. There we go. Okay. And that's overlapping a little bit. So let me zoom in either, even further. Go back to my eraser tool and get rid of that. Okay. And then... Um, let's zoom back out and we need to get rid of this one here so let me go ahead and zoom in on it choose my eraser tool and erase that cut line all right and then I'm going to also need to erase this cut line and this cut line and I went a little too far but for video's sake, 
timing. I'm, you're just going to have to be careful when you do it. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and leave it. As you can see, there's a lot of breaks in this anyway. So I have a feeling she's going to have to go back and retrace it and make sure that she adjusts her contrast and zooms way in to check those cut lines to make sure that they are connected. All right, so let's come over here and let's see. I need to erase this one and this one. And then let me zoom out and check it. Okay, so now it's going to cut around the dog here and run into this flower, right? So then it's going to cut around the flower, uh, around the flower here, around the dog paw here, around the flower. Um, you know, you might want to do a little adjusting to that. Um, you know, maybe even just get rid of that um, cut line on the flower. Let's go back to the eraser and... Well, you didn't choose that, did it? Let me undo that. Let me zoom in here. I need to get rid of this right here. See all the breaks that are here? That comes from tracing with too low contrast. Um, all right, so let me go to this one here and my eraser tool and try to get rid of that. Okay, that's good enough for me. I mean, obviously, you're going to want to spend more time on it and get it right. But um, And another thing is the eraser, if I use the arrows and go down, the lowest I can go is 10. But I could actually type in 0 0.05 here to make it smaller, okay? Just so you know, you can type in a value there. All right, so then let's take a look at it. And so then it's going to cut around the paw, around the flower. I need to get rid of this one right here as well. So let's come back to the eraser tool and erase this line here. Okay, and then let's zoom out and zoom back in and then it looks good so now she'll be able to have her dog print and have her dog cut around the flowers rather than into the flowers or vice versa the flowers cutting into the dog all right and she'll be able to weed all of this white part out and that's exactly what she wanted to be able to do. So if I turn everything back on and check my cut lines, check my print, then it's good to go. So that's how you can, um, you know, put two PNG files together. Just make sure that when you're tracing that, um, if I come to the trace window here, if you have this contrast too low, you're going to get breaks in your lines. Use this zoom button right here to zoom in on your image pretty tightly. I mean, you may have to press it 20 times to get close enough um, just to make sure that you don't have breaks in those lines. Because if she cuts this the way that this file is right now, if I turn off the print layers again um, and I zoom in okay let me zoom in closer all right this isn't gonna cut right here so all this material on the outside is gonna be stuck it actually might pull up this inner part and I don't think that's what she wants so yeah that's what's exactly what's gonna happen when she pulls this outside part up, this inside and
the other inside part where I was zoomed in on is going to um, it's going to pull up so her flowers that she has here if I turn this on you know this pink part it's going to pull up because there's a break in that in that uh, cut line right there so I suggest I know you're listening <laughs> that you go back and retrace this uh, flower image here and make sure that you adjust your contrast okay so anyway that's how you do it if you have any questions leave them in the comments below or you can find me in one of the Facebook groups that is listed in the description of this video thanks for watching